Hello, people from the internet, it's Ignasi from Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain, universe, everywhere. <laughs> it's summer of 2013 and it's very hot. Well, uh, I will want to show you how to make this thing called uh, saxophone, plastic saxophone or clarinet or duduk or oboe or whatever. Um, actually, this is not an invention of mine. It's just, uh, only a hobby that I have. Um, Xavi Lozano, the musician that I have on my website, uh, show it how to make uh, how to make uh, one of these. And he's a very nice guy. He's very polite. Uh, don't hesitate to visit the, his website called Xavi Bufa and his shows and everything. And I don't know, um, as I don't believe in uh, intellectual property. I think the ideas don't belong to anyone. I want to show you how to make one of these because I've received a lot of emails of you asking me to make one. Please show us how to make one of these. And so here you have. Uh, before showing you, I would like to show you my, the things I've done. It looks difficult, but it's not so difficult. The nice thing of it is that you can make the tune uh, as you want, this one is in E, Mi, and let's see how it sounds. <laughs> The nice thing of it is that uh, you can do all the sizes that you want, for example, this is in D sharp, so it's one half tone lower. C sharp, let's say. You can see this is another octave, but it's nice sound also. Oh fuck. See? This is quite difficult to make sound. And for example, the lowest is a very nice sound also. A sharp, but of the lower octave. It sounds like this. This is quite difficult, I tell you, because I'm not a professional musician. As I said, it's only a hobby. So I show it my stuff. I'm going to teach you how to make your own stuff. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, show you the first thing that you need for making this saxo plastic saxophone, let's say, or plastic duduk. I like this Armenian instrument called duduk. This is the gardener's plastic. They put uh, little holes here and uh, it uh, lets the, the drops of water go into the plant with a precise rhythm. The other thing that you need is a hammer. I will show you why later. Very important also, sandpaper. It's better if you use the, the thinnest sand as possible. And the most important thing, this kind of I don't know, gun <laughs> for making the holes. This is very important. It's 
This only costs, I think, 20 or 30 euros, but it's very useful stuff. And later on, this kind of uh, knife or multi-tool for uh, finishing the hole. Coffee, because it needs patience. And also a computer, I will show you later. Here on my computer, I have a program called um, Chromatic Tuner. I bought it. It costs only $10, I think. And it's very important to, to have a, a tuning. Well, it's very important if you want to make a precise instrument. If you just want to make it sound with a diatonic major scale, you don't need to, to use a tuner. But I, as have you seen, I like to have the precise tune. This is in C. This is in C, but of the other octave, you can see it's a, this is the half size. So if you make it in the precise tone, you can play with other musicians and you can communicate with music, which I think is more funny. So let's begin. The first thing that, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to cut the precise size that you want to use. I decided this. Uh, this is nothing. This is just plastic tube. I don't know the tune of it, but I will begin making this double rate. This is the most one of the most important parts. So you begin with the hammer and you do like this. Now the other side. You have to be very carefully, very careful, sorry, of not to make it too hard because I don't want to broke this part or neither this one. As you see, this is not proper, so I'm going to cut it. That's better. So now what I'm going to do is one of the most trickiest and interesting part of it, that is to uh, make the double read. You have to make it as thin as possible. Uh, some people, uh, actually Chavi showed me that uh, you have to begin with the sandpaper, but I like to begin with this. But I put it in the lowest. So, there I go. Okay. This part is not easy, it, actually it will take uh, quite long to me. The thing is that with this and with this sandpaper to let it as thin as possible. But it's very, very, very important to not to broke this part. If not, the double reed will open too much and the air will come out and there's no magic. So I will cut and I will make it and when I'm done, I'll show you, okay? Well, as you can see, I make this double read. I will show you with this camera. I try to sand it the best as I, that I can. So now, you put the lips like this, like if you're playing uh, oboe or any double reed instrument. <laughs> And you have to feel that it's, you can, um, the mood of the tone. As I told you, this is F sharp. But I won't do an F sharp major scale flute. I will make an F major scale. So I will make a hole of the half tone lower. More or less, if you know, it's going to be like this. 
you know, the half tone is going to be here. It is very important to make a lot of flutes and make it bad. And finally you will make it fine. You just need this thing and the chromatic tuner I have here with me. So, if I think it's going to be like this. I'll make a mark. And let's make a hole. Not big. Okay. I haven't made it. And I will finish it with this. Let's try. F sharp, F. Well, this is not F, this is G. I make it bad, sorry. It's a G major flute. So this is G. But I use it, uh, I make this extra hole for making it more colored with this fourth finger. So now what I have, I have G major, but I can put the F sharp. So now I need an A. Let's make it. Here comes the fingers. So more or less <clears throat> it goes here. I make a mark. It's time to make the hole. It's better not to make it very big hole, so you can always end it later on. Let's try. I need A. Remember, I have major, and now let's say Dorian, which is the third one, oh sorry, I need to make B, and this is a little bit tricky, because I need to make, uh, to leave a bigger distance between the second and the third. As you can see here. You need big distance. B. Fingers crossed. What I need? C. It's just half tone between B and C. So it has to be closer. And the hole, it hasn't. It, it can be big. Sorry. I go.
remember, I sand this part as much as possible. I make this F sharp, G, A, B, C. But with the F sharp, sorry. But I begin from G. The F sharp, you just use it for making an extra color to the melodies. So now, I need D. But as you can see, I put the holes in the right part of the tube. But on the other part, I will put it on the left part. Left part, right part, left part. I don't want to put it, to put it all here. As you can see, I put it in both sides. So it's going to be easier to me. For putting this one, I need an extra more uh, space than from B to C. It was just half tone, so now I need to make it much longer. Let's say here. Okay. So I think I didn't make it properly. I put it too far away. So it's like a D sharp. It's like in the middle. But I can fix it. As it doesn't sound good at all, I must admit it. I will close again the hole. I close it. And I will make a new hole. That's no problem. Each problem has a proper solution, always. <laughs> okay. You can see I put it too far away so I decided to make it here down the other one and it doesn't sound bad good so now I need an E Let's try. Doesn't sound bad. F sharp. It's one tone, so I use the same distance. You see it? I will use a little bit of this because it's too high and I don't want it to sound too high. The same goes with F sharp. Just a little bit. A 
Let's try now. I will clean. Here we go again. And now I need the G. Ta this is a little bit tricky, the G. The G of the whole octave, it's not easy because it's, you need to be very, very small hole. If this is the last hole, you have to put it on the other side, a little bit, a little bit up. Very small hole. One octave. Well, I know it's not perfect, but I made it in just 15 minutes, so it's not bad at all. If you practice, you can do it even better than I do. <laughs> so finally, I won't use this one for making the demonstration, so it's not properly tuned. I want always to make the, the best that I can. And it takes a while to learn and to, to, to know how to make it. I've been doing this for months, but I still don't know how to make it properly. Remember that as bigger the hole is, the highest the tone will be, and the same with the opposite. And the same with the position. Where do you put the hole? It's going to, to change everything. And you need the diatonic. Also, if you cut this part, uh, all the tone will change. So let's say you make a whole flute and it's between F sharp and G. If you cut it, you will go to G, but not cut it so much. You have to be very precise. Well, I will play a little bit with this E. You see, this hole is not big. And you see the other ones, for example, here I made a mistake, but I fixed it. So it's not a problem. Here I put the left hand, and the right hand doesn't go here. It goes in the left part, I told you. In the right part, sorry. Because it's easier to play. So let's go. The nice part also is that you can make like a chromatic thing. interesting you can make a lot of melodies different colors different tones mm. and it's cheap and you can I don't know hit someone <laughs> hit yourself it's very funny now I'm going to play this 
A sharp major flute, as you can see, is a big size. So you can make a uh, lot of sizes as you want. But if you have a big hands, it's going to be better for you to play the lowest plastic duduk. <laughs> This is hard for me because I've been playing for one hour and I'm, my lips are not used to play this kind of stuff because I'm not a professional saxophone player. But as you practice like I do, for sure you will make it fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you make a lot of this, if you make uh, uh, any plastic saxophone please send me photos, image, uh, sound, video, whatever. If you need some tips, some help, send me an email or if you want me to do one for you, I can do this A uh, sharp big one or E or whatever the tones you want. I can make it in my house and I will send you for in your house for a good price for sure. Um, as I said, this is not my idea, this is Xavi Lozano's idea, but uh, I'm sure he's happy that I try to spread this kind of stuff around the world because uh, if you see garbage, I can see music and for sure you can too. Thanks for watching, be happy. <laughs>